Hello everyone. So let's do a small lab. In this one, just we are going to do basic setup lab. Okay. This is a basic lab, a small organization. Imagine you are working in a small organization, and you need to set up the basic stuff. So what I will do? I will take one switch. Okay. This is one switch, and let me take two PC. We can say VPC or toolbox. We have the Docker also, but anyhow. i will take the vpc i will take two pc vpc 1 vpc 2 and then i will take the router one router assume this is a small organization okay this is a small organization and you have only two pc we are connecting this pc to the switch okay and here also we are going to connect the pc to the switch the pc1 pc2 and this will connect to the router so this is our basic setup let me power on the devices i will power on all the devices after that we will take the console of the device and we will do the basic configuration okay whatever ip schema we are going to use let me write down here here we are going to write the IP schema that is 192.168.1.1. This IP we are going to assign to our router. Okay, this is the router. Imagine we have this IP to this router. Instead of router, you can think this is a server also. We can uh, make this router as a web server also. But anyhow, a small scenario we are creating. So even if we are pinging, we can assume that this is a server. Okay. so now what we are going to learn in this one how we can how we can access this web server if you want to make this as a web server we can or how we can access or how we can ping this server i am taking router we can uh, configure uh, https or http in this one and we can access if you cannot do with the vpc then we can use the windows 10 or we can uh, take the docker or ubuntu anything we can use but this is a simple and a small lab so what i will do i will take vpc1 and vpc2 in this one let me open the vpc2 console okay and let me open the switch also this is a manageable switch okay this is a manageable switch so switch is also working it will take time yeah it is loaded and this is a pc okay everything is good and this is the router okay so what i will do now i will start doing the configuration for this lab let me move this here so you can easily observe what we are doing okay i hope you can see this clearly now so let me take the putty for the pc1 first of all we are going to assign the ip so i will write here ip we are going to give the ip 192.168.1.2 and the gateway uh, subnet mask we will give 255.255.255.0 and we are going to give the gateway as 192.168.1.1 .1. okay i assign i am assigning the ip address to the pc1 let me check show ip and if you see we have the ip and the gateway everything is good i will save this same thing we will do here let me put the label here before going to that one the second pc This is 192.168.1.2, okay. And here, let me make duplicate, and this should be 1.3, okay, 1.3. And now I am going to assign here also. Let me go to the PC2 and assign IP. I will write 192.168.1.2, and we can write slash 24. Give space, write 192.168.1.1, okay. this is 1.3 right so let me change this as a 1.3 now we will check and we will save that one i will save and we will write show ip and let's see it is working yeah okay this is the ip with the subnet mask and this is a gateway and switch no need to do anything or if you want i can do the basic setup i will change the host name as a switch 1 okay and do wr to write the configuration in the router we need to do so what i will do here i will go inside the router i will go to the interface fast ethernet 0 by 0 and then i will write here ip address 192.168.1.1 
255.255.255.0 and then I will write no shut here okay I uh, let me check show IP interface brief if you see this interface is up okay let me save the configuration if you want to save the configuration in router we need to write WR to save the configuration so this is a basic setup is done now we can test we need to check we are able to access this uh, uh, IP or not later we can modify this lab later we can add the web server here if you are confused now no need to worry what we will do now we will easily just we will ping from PC1 and PC2 to this R1 later if you like we can take the connection from the ISP and we are going to configure the NAT in the R1 and also we can install when one web server and we are able to access or not we will test that one but that we will do in our next class now just basis basic setup so what we will do we will test now so I will go to the PC one I will ping here ping and I will write the router IP 192.168.1.1 and we will check it is working or not request timeout after that it is working perfectly okay it is working perfectly if you want to check the traffic we can capture here I am using the Wireshark Wireshark is a network analyzer we can an analyze the network traffic okay and if you want to check I can write ICMP because we are using IPv4 so if you see here still nothing is coming here let me send the traffic again let me send the traffic again what I will do here minimize and send the traffic let me show you again I will send the ping here if you see here I am sending the ping and if you see here I am capturing the traffic with the via sharp okay if you see what we are getting here I am sending the traffic 192.168.1.1 okay I am sending from 1.2 I am, I am pinging from this PC PC1 so PC1 is sending this is the PC1 IP source is PC1 and that's destination is our router IP and the protocol we are using ICMP the length is uh, 98 we are sending echo that is echo ping request and then the server that is the router is replying that one so router become the source and the uh, our PC will become the destination so router IP is 192.168.1.1 will become as a source IP and 192.168.1.2 will become as a destination IP okay and if you see it is uh, replying that one this one and if you want to open any packet we can open and we can check here okay this is a ethernet frame here and this is a internet version 4 we are using this is a source and destination if you open here you can see or if you want we can double click this one or let me move this up okay this one is ICMP okay this is a ping packet whatever we are sending inside the ping it will be available here and if you see this is the IP IP packet internet protocol version 4 what you have in the IP packet source IP destination IP you have here okay and if you go here inside that one what you have here source IP destination IP okay and there is a header also we have the header and if you see protocol which protocol we are using that protocol is available here total length is available here and if you go for here Ethernet frame you can see the source address and destination address that is a MAC address also okay if you check the MAC address here let me show you if I write here show IP you can see this is the MAC address here this one this is the MAC address of the PC one let's see here 50 we have right what we have 50 this one if you see let me show you or let me move this up or this down so we can track where we have the source address where we have the source address check here ethernet frame destination and the source if you see this one I can open this one if you see 0, 0, 50, 79, 66, 68, 0, 0. okay so what we have inside this one we have the MAC address and the IP address 
this is the packet I captured just now. I am showing you whenever we are sending the ping command or the Ethernet packet, what it is going? It is going the source IP, destination IP. Along with that one, what we have? We have the source MAC address and destination MAC address. Okay. So this one is going along with the packet. I hope you understand this one. Anyhow, later we will go in deep when we do the packet analyzing. We will look more uh, more feature about the Wireshark. Now, just I want to show you when the PC one is pinging to the router, he is sending the packet and you can uh, analyze that packet by seeing that in the Wireshark. You have the ICMP message that is the internet control messaging protocol. Ping is using the ICMP, internet control messaging protocol. And what we have in this one, we have the source IP, destination IP, and the source MAC address and destination MAC address. Okay, I hope this is clear. So later what we will do in this one, we can add one NAT cloud here and we can configure here the NAT. Okay, so our private IP can translate into public IP and our machines can access the internet. Later we will do that one. Thank you. See you. Bye.